Coming up on the FU Show. We meet superstar kickboxer Jerome LeBanner. Oh, he's like a brick wall, this guy. Oh, no, 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 my hero. <laughs> <laughs> Ultimate Fighter Reality Secrets from Scott Junk. Some guys honestly go crazy, like they, they lose their same mind. We find out what the public really thinks. Got a choice between either drinking a cup of Machida's urine yeah. or licking Roy Nelson's armpit. Which one do you do? Oh, I can't do this. <laughs> and another stupid bet means one of us has to fight Patrick Cote. Hi, I'm Ryan, and this is my best friend since high school, Jake. Much to our parents' disappointment, we threw away our normal lives to start a website about ultimate fighting called FightLinker.com. We aren't exactly a normal combat sports site. We make enough to cover bills and beer money, and I've lost too many fight bets to ever make it in politics. But I get to sleep in, and being the boss means never having to worry about getting fired. Plus, we get to go to events across the country, hang out with some of the baddest mofos on the planet, and have some pretty f***ed up adventures. Let's figure out what the hell we're going to do for this episode. Okay, how about this? Patrick Cote still wants to do something with us. How about we go down to his gym and we have you spar with him for two minutes, see if he can survive. Why don't you do it? I'm the sidekick. I'm not supposed to do anything risky. The sidekick always does the risky stuff. I'm the brains. I'm the blogger. I need my brain to write and do smart stuff. How about uh, Matt Hughes? He likes guns. Let's go down to Matt Hughes' place and blow some shit up. You ever seen one of those guns? It's like the size of you. You could take down an airplane, man. I don't want to I do not want to shoot anything that might potentially get me harmed. It'd be good TV. They'd probably just murder us. Have you seen Deliverance? Okay. I'm pretty sure he was like in that movie. Okay, so now we definitely can't do it after you said that. <laughs> Are you scared? <laughs> You're the one who's being I am a scared. You're the one that's being a gigantic pussy about all this. You I don't want to do this. You don't want to do that. Nothing that can get me hurt. I need a new section. Remember Jonathan Chamberg, the George St. Pierre strength and conditioning coach? How about this? You always see fighters doing circuits on the internet, circuit training, and everything like that. And you never tell how hard it is or how easy it is because these guys are pro athletes. So, what about the idea that you and I, the average everyman, go into Jonathan Chamberg's gym? and compete against a UFC fighter in a circuit. How are you an everyman exactly? You look like a cantaloupe, all right? You wouldn't last three seconds. While I would used to be in shape, I'm not terribly out of shape. I think I could do it. And not only that, I think I can do it better than you. Why don't you put your f money where your mouth is? The loser has to fight Patrick Cote. Let's do it. You're on, bitch. You're on. We're suiting up at Jonathan Chamberg's strength and conditioning gym, where he's gonna put us through the same hellish routine as his pro fighters. As you can see, we have no clothing sponsors. Three, get a good two, shot of his ass when he's doing this. Jonathan has trained a who's who of MMA superstars. George St. Pierre, Rashad Evans, Kenny Florian, Nate Marquardt, Miguel Torres, Shane Carwin, Key Jardine, John Jones, David Loiseau. You get the idea. Today he's got Jerome LeBanner, K1 kickboxing legend, and fresh out of the ultimate fighter house, Scott Junk. So how was life on a reality show? When you go in, you have to go in with the mindset that it's gonna suck. Like it, the first two weeks aren't that bad, but as soon as it gets over two weeks of being with the same people and guys start losing and attitudes start changing and, and there's no getting away. You can't go anywhere without a camera or somebody being there. So there's zero privacy. There's no downtime. It's training then your guards up because there's guys in the house that you don't know and you don't trust. And so it, you're on edge for six weeks. And then some guys honestly go crazy. Like they, they lose their same minds. Mm -hmm. And that shiner, that's, that's from training here, right? Oh, yeah, I got this on Tuesday from Jerome LeBanner. Mm -hmm. And um, it was an honor to spar with the man. He's, he's just he's one of the best softballs in the world. Jonathan is pushing Scott through the circuit Jake and I are about to go head to head at. These exercises are designed to crush athletes in five minutes flat. Let's do it. Whoever finishes the drills fastest will be the winner. Nine, get up. And the loser gets a date with Patrick Cote's fists. And one more. Up. Ladder, let's go. Speed, speed. One, two, three, hard. One, two, work. That's it, work. I'm almost scared. Time, good job. Beautiful. Walk, 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 breathe. I'm starting to think this is gonna suck very, very hard. Okay, so who's first? By the way, what you guys eat for lunch? Chinese food. Bad choice. Third. Let go. Is this the incline of fucking 
Mount Everest. Grab it. Oh, wow. Good. No, just to your eyes. Swing oh, it to your eyes. Watch your head. Two. There you go. Again. One more. Ooh. Last one. Up. Good. Oh. Okay. Now remember, don't slide your feet against the black. I know. I got gigantic feet. Ready? Go. Ah. Here, on the side. I'm glad it's called Jacob's Ladder because he's going to own it after he breaks it. Three. Three. Show me those world class burpees now. <laughs> 10 burpees, here we go. Come on, sprawl. Come on. 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 We're still one. Two more. Nine. One more. Good. Push up. Eight. This is going to be fun. Three. Four. Five. Come on. You beat him over one. <laughs> Just 30 seconds of this. This is where you get to feel proud for making it without puking. There you go. Four. Three. Two. One. Okay. Seven. Twelve. Seven minutes and 12 seconds. <sighs> You guys didn't sign a waiver, right? <laughs> Whose ideas was this? The record on that is three minutes, 32 seconds, I think. I'm just going to laugh when you take nine minutes, bitch. So remember, he has 712. We're going to do this. In three, two, one, be serious. Let's go. Four, five. He's white before he even started. He's going to throw up for sure. Up, three, up, four, up. Put on that belt, Jacobs. <laughs> Come on, push, don't stop, don't stop, run, 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 run. Come on, let's go. Five seconds left, five. Don't force yourself. Come on, let's go. Let's go, let's go. Oh, oh, oh. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Right there, right there. Oh, my God. Don't run the grass. Clock is still over. Oh, no. Yeah, baby! I made the whole way through, and he f***ing three exercises, and he Yeah, but you know what? I looked a lot better failing than you did finish. We're here with Jerome Banner, K1 kickboxing superstar extraordinaire. Nice to speak to you, Jerome. And... <laughs> look at the size of this guy, by the way. Can you catch this? I'm actually pretty tall, but look at him. I don't think I can push him. Try to stay still. Let's see if I can push him. He's like a brick wall, this guy. This is a real good bomb. You know, actually, it's because he's nervous talking to you. Seriously? What is Lord No, no, no. no. You're my hero. <laughs> uh, no. Oh. <laughs> Can't take you anywhere. Congratulations. Good one. Oh. Yeah, well, whatever. You gotta go box. So, you'll get your medicine. Coming up next, Ryan pays the price for making stupid bets, and Patrick Cote commits manslaughter. But first... Every single day, Leon Machida drinks a tall glass of his own piss. Nope, nope, nope. He says it helps him win championships. You know, you know that photo? Leon Machida with his dad? It's not beer, and it's not fucking apple juice in that. It's fucking pee, man. It's pee. Leona Machida's dad started drinking pee because he read an article about Japanese World War II guys stuck on a deserted island for months who did it to survive. But now you get these jackasses that think to themselves, oh, there's a scientific reason why you're supposed to drink it. That's because the stuff that's in your urine is full of vitamins and minerals that are totally acclimatized to your body. Do you think that Leona Machida is a champion because he drinks piss? No, it's because he spent all day at the gym every day. All right, let me tell you something. Urine is made about 95% water, and the rest is something called urea. All right, that's the sludge and toxins and leftovers that your body doesn't need. Your kidneys act as a kind of trash collector, and it separates all that gross stuff from the liquids and the solids that you eat. And uh, that's what your piss is full of, okay? Gross-ass chemicals your body didn't want the first time around. All right, it doesn't make you a champ. 
drinking this just makes you an ignorant hippie weirdo. <laughs> so for God's sake, do not drink your own pee. We're at the Grand Brothers Gym in Montreal, Canada, where we're meeting up with Patrick Cote, UFC fighter. He's gonna kick the crap out of me. So what's, what's, what's Patrick known for? He is a power striker, an extremely uh, tough chin, hard to knock out. <laughs> yeah, the last time I've been punched in the face was grade six, so I'm a little bit concerned. <laughs> for the tale of the tape for our FU punishment sparring match featuring Patrick the Predator Cote versus Ryan Feitlinger Hartnitz. Patrick Cote has a seven inch reach advantage. He's three inches taller. He has 18 more pro fights and 63 more amateur fights. He hits six times as hard and has 23 more KOs and 15 more submissions. He moves twice as fast, trains eight times as hard and is 6.5 times as mean as Ryan Hartnitz, but he has a smaller penis. Everything, Everything else is practically identical. identical. Ladies, Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen welcome, welcome to this unsanctioned bullshit fight. fight in the blue corner, weighing 185 hard ass pounds. He is the TKO light heavyweight champion, the TKO middleweight champion, the MFC middleweight champion, and a UFC contender. Ladies and gentlemen, Patrick the Predator Cote. And in the red corner, weighing in at a jolly 203 pounds, he is way out of his league. All right, uh, if you can uh, come and uh, meet to uh, touch gloves. Now the rules are that uh, if you call the safety word, we, the fight will be stopped. What's the safety word? Okay, get ready. Touch gloves and you're about to go. He only has bleeding gums because he doesn't brush his teeth. <laughs> oh. Okay. A loose, loose tooth, a fat lip. Ah, my jaw's all messed up. Don't worry. My head is, my neck is jacked. My head is discombobulated. And my body feels like I'm gonna pee blood. All in all, I think it went pretty well. Hello everybody, welcome to the Low Blow UFC 113 edition. We're out today at the at the weigh-ins, talking to some people uh, in the lineup. Okay, here's a question for you. You gotta do one of these. What would you rather do? Would you lick Roy Nelson's armpit or would you drink Machida's urine? <laughs> the first one. <laughs> I'd probably go with Machida's urine. All right, Machida's urine, all right. And I wouldn't do any of that shit. The first one. You drink his pee? Yeah. Uh, that's kinky. Oh, I can't do this, man. <laughs> oh, this is crazy. I asked you this question last week. Which fight were you most excited for? You gave me the completely jaded none. Are, are you feeling any different today? Well, uh, remember when we went to go interview that guy uh, just in the lineup? Well, what was the fight that you were most looking forward to? Uh, uh, I think Kimbo Slice. I'd like to see him in the end. So you're looking forward to seeing him lose yeah. is what you want. So if he loses, you're going to go home like feeling great. Oh, yeah, for sure. Uh, that's for a sure. professional hater right there. <laughs> Here's the thing. I always think of a fight in terms of its winners, never its losers. But once in a while, when somebody does lose, you feel... Good. Who is the grossest UFC fighter? Yeah. Kimbo Slice and Kimbo. <laughs> Kimbo Slice. Okay. Yeah, That's. Is, 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 is it the beard? I don't like it. Yeah. You really don't like his beard? No. No. Idiots buy into f Kimbo Slice. That's that's it. You're an idiot. If you tell me Kimbo Slice is awesome, I know what your IQ is. 
All right? We it's, still, it's, yeah. it's two digits. You don't like his sort of like half shit? No, I don't like that. Is it the beard really that? I like a nice groom man. He's not just bad. He's terrible, and you're about to see that, and I hope that it's going to be the final f straw, but it's not. You know? Delusion lives on, and they're going to make some kind of other excuse. If Mitrion knocks him out, they're going to be like, well, Mitrion must be the real deal, and you're like, what? Here's what I think we should do. We should challenge Kimbo Slice to a fight. He is I wanna, a pussy I, I, I want to go to his barbecue. I bet you he is like the biggest family man here's, in the world. Here's what we do. We, we, we do your idea. You go fight him. I will That's, eat his meats at, at the barbecue. But I'm like, you're heavier than me. So? I already took one for the team. I it's fought like, Patrick I would, Cote. Yeah, like, let me, let me go fight Cambo. Like, I'm saying that he's a joke, but I am more of a joke. You, sir, are a coward. You, you would not even fight the man that you talk shit about, huh? Coward. Well, I'll fight him if I have a baseball bat. If you were a woman, what UFC fighter would you bang? Oh, man. I have nightmares about Brock Lesnar. GSP, has got a great body. He's uh, got the accent and everything. He'd take me out for dinner, and then he'd uh, he'd kind of take out the guys who were hitting on me at the same time. So I'd feel comfortable in his arms. And would he yeah. pay the bill? Or would he go Dutch? I, I'd be happy paying for him, too, just as long as I got to see the abs and the tight shorts there when we got back to the bedroom. Uh, you want to see a sprawl, is what we're saying. I kind of North Pole, South Pole. I like to get in that position. Uh, and if he gets a grease on him there, you know, between rounds or whatever, and I decided to go side mouth and you know but yeah. ultimately probably submitting his heart uh, I didn't want to go there but sure yeah, yeah. that's okay. great Fantastic. thank you so much my friend oh thank you thank you he's a good hugger he's a good hugger <laughs> have a good show